Would you let Elon Musk implant a chip in your brain? It sounds like something out of science fiction, but Elon Musk's Neuralink may one day be a reality. Neuralink is a brain-machine interface that aims to help people with spinal injuries and other debilitating ailments, but the possibilities for this technological innovation are endless. Neuralink will be able to help a paraplegic move a computer cursor with his or her mind. But one day, anyone could use this groundbreaking tech. Imagine a world where you can order something from Amazon just by thinking of it. Here's a close look at Neuralink and what this technological sixth sense has in store for humankind. Elon Musk describes Neuralink as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Musk's ultimate goal for Neuralink is to achieve a full brain-machine interface that will reach symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Basically, he wants humans to be as smart as computers. Eventually, artificial intelligence will evolve and leave humans in the dust. Wait, what? Neuralink might help us keep up. Neuralink is ambitious, but there are many things that Musk's brain chip will be able to do very soon. People suffering from neurological conditions like paralysis, seizures, brain damage, and even depression might be able to use Neuralink to lead more normal lives. Neuralink could do away with the need for medication and physical therapy altogether. Human trials have not yet started, but when they do, the first challenge will be having a paraplegic operate an iPhone or making mouse clicks on a computer without any physical movement. Neuralink may seem like something created by a mad genius, but the science behind this innovative brain chip is not new at all. Scientists have been developing brain-machine interfaces for over 50 years. The earliest brain-machine interfaces allowed people to operate mechanical arms and move virtual cursors. The Utah Array, which is currently undergoing clinical trials, is the only brain-machine interface that's currently approved by the Food and Drug Administration. It uses a 1mm implant with 100 electrodes that can stimulate the user's brain. Doctors have been using deep brain stimulation to treat patients suffering from Parkinson's for decades. A neurostimulator, sometimes referred to as a brain pacemaker, is used to send electrical pulses to certain parts of a patient's brain via implanted electrodes. If you decide one day to have a Neuralink chip installed into your brain, you should be aware that the procedure won't be completed by a doctor or scientist. Rather, a Neuralink chip will be installed via an expensive sewing robot. Neuralink's first human-embedded chip prototype was the Neuralink N1 sensor, and it was extremely tiny, including the outer mold. The N1 sensor was just 8 millimeters in diameter and 4 millimeters tall with 1,024 extremely tiny electrodes. Earlier this year, Musk unveiled a brand new prototype that looks like a coin. The Link V0.9 chip also has 1,024 electrodes, but the new chip is slightly larger at 23 millimeters by 8 millimeters. The V0.9 has has all-day battery life and is inductively charged. To recharge, you simply need to plug a dongle into an outlet and let the chip power up while you sleep. The electrodes in the V0.9 implant are tiny microscopic threads that are 10 times thinner than a strand of human hair. The electrodes are so small that it would be impossible for a human to install them. That's where Neuralink's futuristic robot surgeon comes in. The Neuralink surgical robot, which was designed by Woke Studios, has a sleek look like an Apple device. The Neuralink robot surgeon will sew the chip's electrodes into your brain with perfect accuracy. There won't even be any bleeding. The good news is that the procedure won't hurt a bit because the brain does not have pain receptors. The layers of tissue between the brain and skull can feel pain, but not the brain itself. That's why brain surgeons can operate on people when they're awake. One patient even played guitar while surgeons removed a brain tumor. Musk says the surgery will only take an hour and anesthesia wouldn't be needed. The patient could be in and out of the hospital in a day. The N1 sensor chip required a piece of wearable tech that would sit behind your ear and hold the Neuralink battery. The V0.9 chip is all one piece. There is no exterior portion and no one would even be able to tell that you had one in your head, except for a tiny scar from the installation surgery. Needless to say, it's a huge upgrade. Whenever Elon Musk comes up with an innovative idea, you know it's going to cost a lot of money, and Neuralink is no exception. The Neuralink robotic surgeon alone costs $20 million to build, and Musk has pumped $100 million of his own money into the company. Neuralink has received about $158 million in funding so far, and with that money, Musk has been able to hire profile neuroscientists and develop the costly robot neurosurgeon. If you're worried that having a chip implanted in your brain would put strain on your wallet, don't be. Neuralink will 
will be a costly procedure when it's first introduced to the public, but Musk hopes to get the price down to a few thousand dollars. That includes the cost of the chip and the surgery. Luckily, the parts used to make the chips aren't particularly expensive, and many of the same materials are used to make smartphones. Would you pay for a Neuralink chip if it was cheaper than an iPhone? It doesn't take a genius like Musk to see the potential in Neuralink. Elon Musk wants to sell a Neuralink chip to anyone who wants one. Don't worry, Musk isn't forcing you to have a chip implanted into your brain. It may seem like Musk wants to take over the world, but he's not going to go that far. Musk has warned about the dangers of AI for many years, and he views Neuralink as a last line of defense against an AI uprising. Some may welcome our new AI overlords, but Musk isn't going to let computers enslave us. It might seem far-fetched, but Musk really believes that a Skynet-like AI might take over the world. He says an evolving AI is a greater threat to humanity than nuclear weapons. Neuralink might prevent Terminator 2 Judgment Day from becoming a reality. The only way we can defeat highly intelligent computers is if we are as smart as they are. Neuralink might give us a chance. There are many more potential uses for Neuralink, and most aren't as scary as the last line of defense against an evil AI. Neuralink could make iPhones and all other wearables obsolete, communicating telepathically, buying something online with merely a thought, and augmented reality video games might all be possible with Neuralink. Neuralink isn't advanced enough to do any of this yet, but who knows what the future holds? If Neuralink does allow us to communicate telepathically, it'll be much faster than a phone call or text message. Thoughts are instantaneous, but our current methods of communication are limited to how fast we can speak or type. Neuralink raises many ethical questions. Many are concerned about the potential dangers of this technology. There is a risk that Neuralink could be hacked, allowing someone to completely control a person who has the implant. A hacker could also potentially shut down the chip until the user pays a ransom. There's also concerns of inequality. How will a person with an implant differ from a person without one? Neuralink could make a person smarter or stronger, which would be unfair to those who don't have an implant or can't afford one. People with implants may be favored for jobs, loans, or even housing. There is also a risk that companies could send advertisements directly into your brain, but Musk says he is against such a development. There's also the possibility that people could become addicted to the chips and not be able to function without one. So how long will we have to wait for Neuralink to be available? A lot of the potential uses for Neuralink Link are a long way away. But 2020 has been very good for the company. In August, Musk showed Neuralink in action when he unveiled a pig that had the VO.9 chip implanted in her brain. During the tech demo, which was live streamed on YouTube, Musk demonstrated how Neuralink tracked Gertrude, the pig's, brain activity. As Gertrude moved around her pen, ate straw, and sniffed things with her snout, Musk displayed her brain activity via a graph on a screen. Last year, Neuralink installed a chip into the brain of a monkey and was able to get the monkey to control a computer with its brain. Neuralink has recently been approved as a breakthrough device by the FDA. While this is not the same as full FDA approval, it means that FDA approval could be fast-tracked. Musk wants to start human trials as early as this year, but now 2021 seems much more likely. Would you be willing to be Musk's guinea pig? I know I wouldn't. Not even if he offered me a free Cybertruck. Nope. Neuralink has come a long way since Musk founded the company in 2016. In the next four years, we could see Neuralink reach new heights and make some staggering breakthroughs. Successful human trials are just a matter of time. Neuralink gets a lot of press because it's the brainchild, no pun intended, of Elon Musk. However, there are many other companies developing similar chips. Even Facebook is getting in on the action. Brain-computer interface startup CTRL Labs was purchased by Facebook last year for about $1 billion. The company is building software that would let users control a digital avatar using only their thoughts. Will we one day live in a world where Facebook has access to not only our private data but our thoughts, too? A brain-machine interface can be invasive or non-invasive. Not every company wants to install brain chips like Neuralink. Mindex is developing a pair of smart glasses that will allow users to access information with a single thought. Likewise, Nextmind developed a wearable device that allows users to change TV channels with just their thoughts. Nectome is working on tech that will preserve memories. The company wants to upload a person's brain waves into the cloud, but there's a catch. For the procedure to work, Netcom needs a living brain and the process kills the patient. The fatal mind uploading service would be similar Similar to the service shown on the Amazon show Upload or the Black Mirror episode San Junipero. More proof that science fiction eventually becomes science fact. That's it, folks. Do you think Neuralink will be commonplace in the future? Ah. 
scared. Are you going to pay thousands to have a robot implant a chip in your brain? Do you think the chip could turn us into superhumans? Do you think Neuralink will help us keep up with AI and prevent a Terminator-esque apocalyptic future? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps us out.